Hello everyone, I'm back again, and this time I want to talk to you about gradient banding, which happens on OLEDs every once in a while. And I've seen a lot of complaints about this in forums. Well, I found the solution, guys, so here's how it goes. But before I get into that, I want you guys to know that uh, I've now moved, so my setup might look a little different than you remember, and... I'm actually using the Sonos Arc, which I will be doing an updated review on in due time. Anyways, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to it. So, in PlayStation settings in the past, be it the PS4, the PS4 Pro, even the PS3, there's always an automatic setting. And you know what? Unless you have no other choice, never, ever, ever select automatic, because this is the kind of thing you get right here. So let me explain. So if we go into our display settings, and we scroll down to screen and video, and we scroll down to 4K transfer rate. So I completely missed this when I was setting up my PlayStation 5, and I'm sure a lot of you have too. Don't miss it. Now, if you do, and it's set to auto, what will likely happen is the, for whatever reason, the PlayStation 5 will uh, go to the lower 4K transfer rate setting. So then what that does is it messes with your TV's HDR and also the way that your TV transfers data. So if you go to learn more, it'll explain that there are two settings, 4K transfer video rate num minus one and 4K video transfer rate minus two. Midas 1 uh, allows you to 4K transfer rate at 120 frames per second, 4K at 60 frames per second high dynamic range, and 444 chroma. That is what you want. But Minus 2, however, only allows you to do 4K 60 frames per second, 120 frames per... S no, yeah, 120 frames per second, but no high dynamic range whatsoever, no HDR. That's not what you want. So when the PlayStation 5 automatically selects that, your HDR gets all messed up and you get those weird color gradient lines. It's especially prominent if you have your TV and PC mode as well. So watch out for that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your 4K transfer rate, make sure it's not on automatic, select minus one like I've got here, click it, and then leave it at that. And I can almost guarantee almost 90% of the time, that will resolve any weird gradient issues you have, no matter what TV it is. And I just discovered this the other day, and I was kicking myself, because this entire time I've been thinking there's something wrong with my TV. It had these weird circular lines in it, in cloudy scenes, dark scenes, uh, in lower bitrate content. But that's why, because the 4K transfer rate was not set properly by the PlayStation. If you have the option... Never ever choose automatic for most things. I will make an exception for resolution, but never for RGB range and never for 4K transfer rate. And on HDR, never select automatic because then it'll just put it at HDR at all times. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you didn't, smash the dislike button if you think I'm a big nerd. If you haven't, now would be a great time to subscribe to my channel. I don't come out with things as often as other YouTubers, but when I do, I try to make sure that the content is relevant to you. <clears throat> that being said, guys, spread the word if you can. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Stay healthy and stay safe in this pandemic. I'm really hoping that by the end of this year it's over. Haha. Uh -huh. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now. Oh, and remember, if this setting actually makes it worse for you, try changing it to minus two. But just be aware, uh, you probably won't get your HDR. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.